Windows Live Photo Gallery also allows us to edit some photos in a batch. Let's pretend that I want to select these six photos in this row here. In order to select them, I'll first click on the first photo. Then I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. That's in the bottom left hand corner of my keyboard. It says CTRL, which stands for control. I'll hold down the control key and then I can click anywhere on the second photo, anywhere on the third photo, anywhere on the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Now that I have all six photos selected, I can then come up to the edit tab, which is up here in the top left hand corner next to the word home. I can click on edit and you'll see my tools here in the middle section. Notice that some of the tools have disappeared, such as the crop tool and the fixed red eye tool. That's because those photos have to be individually edited. You cannot edit those in a batch. But these other tools are still available. I'm going to click on auto adjust and it's going to automatically adjust those six photos there. You'll notice that there's a little clock symbol in the top right hand corner of each photo as it adjusts that photo. So auto adjust is automatically straightening the photos as well as adjusting some of the color and exposure settings for me as well. If in addition to using auto adjust, I would also like to convert these photos to black and white, I can simply click on black and white or sepia tone or one of the other black and white effects and apply that as well. Batch editing can be very useful because it allows you to apply the same effect to multiple photos at one time without having to do it individually. Once the batch editing has finished, I can simply double click on a photo, remember that's two left clicks quickly, and you will notice that each of these photos has been edited. If I click on close file here, it will return me back to the gallery.